breathing in a light way seems to have lots of different benefits that we're only just beginning to rediscover. I'm going to begin by sharing a few of those. First of all, when we breathe lightly through our nose, the air is filtered, it's humidified, and it's warmed, which enhances the uptake of oxygen to your lungs. So as you're listening to me, see if you can clear your nose. See if you can breathe through your nose as I continue to explain the other benefits. Secondly, carbon dioxide is actually important for us. When we have carbon dioxide in our bloodstream, it helps to transfer oxygen into our cells. And light breathing seems to help maintain this optimal level of carbon dioxide in our blood. Thirdly, you'll find that when you breathe lightly, breathe gently, breathe slowly, you activate the relaxation part of your nervous system, what's called the parasympathetic nervous system. This helps to reduce your body's stress response. It's, it's a great way to relieve stress. It also does this by stimulating the vagus nerve. Light breathing is also a great thing to practice before bedtime because it can help to calm the mind engage relaxation and improve sleep. And there's also a fair amount of research to show that it may reduce the symptoms of respiratory conditions, things like allergies and asthma. It does this by helping to reduce hyperventilation where we overbreathe, which most of us do actually. And finally, it can help to improve mental clarity, and help to improve your focus, your concentration, by promoting the right level of oxygen in our brain. And if you suffer from things like brain fog, then this can be quite good for that as well. So let's have a go. So begin by getting yourself nice and cosy. Main thing, whatever your posture is that your clothing is not too tight so you can comfortably breathe. Especially around your neck and waist so your belly can expand and contract as you breathe in and out. When you breathe in this deep way, the, there's also a little expansion in the sides of your body and where your lower back is, so being mindful of that too and perhaps noticing that. So beginning by becoming conscious of your body. Scanning through your body from the top of your head and doing little stretches in the parts that need stretching, which is your jaw, your shoulders, Your back, your 
Perhaps stretching your arms and fingers. And if you need to, or want to, your uh, legs. And now becoming conscious of the natural process of your breathing. In your best to breathe in and out your nose. is there to breathe in for emergencies or as a secondary source of air but it doesn't filter it doesn't warm your air it doesn't do all the many functions that need to happen when you breathe so you're going to primarily breathe through your nose Now breathing gently with your nose so you can't hear your breath. We're breathing heavily. Breath is more audible. See if you can breathe so slowly and lightly that you can hardly hear it. Breathing slightly more lightly and slowly than you normally do. And when you do this, when you breathe out slowly and lightly, there may be this tiny sense of what is called air hunger, as if you need to breathe more. And that's actually good. That's retraining your body get used to slightly less air, just in a tiny way, and then if it feels too uncomfortable, just go back to your normal breathing. You can take the 1% approach and just 
slowing down your breath by a tiny amount. When you gently slow down your breath, especially breathing out lightly, but we can notice if it's working because you can sense a little bit more saliva in your mouth. That's the sign of your rest and digest system working. The other thing you may notice is your body feeling warmer, such as your hands, feet, Slowing down your breathing, breathing lightly. So you just got a little bit of air hunger from time to time. You may also find through this process it might be a little bit easier to stay with your breath. You may focus your attention a tiny bit more as you breathe very quietly and slowly. Your belly very gently rising on the in-breath, but not much. And your belly contracting very slowly as you breathe out. Really taking your time with your breath, breathing slowly on the out breath so you can hardly hear it. Breathing slowly so you can just about feel it in your nose but the air is moving through gently, creating this tiny bit of air hunger from time to time. If it feels too uncomfortable, remember to take a break. Let's go back to your normal breath. It's also healthy to cycle back and forth.
And let's continue to practice and experiment and learn about our body and our breathing in our quiet time together. Just noticing how your body now feels and how your mind is doing and experimenting with this. And if you found it beneficial, perhaps doing it for a minute or two every time you have a break or every hour or two. Just becoming aware of your breathing and just slowing it down, breathing lightly, having a little sip of this air hunger from time to time to recalibrate your body and mind. You may want to finish by thinking of something that you're grateful for. very much for joining us today.